case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that stirred legal circles, the Tennessee Supreme Court upheld the conviction of a man known as Jubal Carson, entangling him in the spider web of criminal responsibility predicated on the common law rule. Jubal Carson was no ordinary defendant, found guilty of assisting his co defendants, Aaron Gary and Alton Stover, in a plot to rob. Jim and Dave's TV repair store in Knoxville, Tennessee, Carson found himself as the linchpin of the operation, providing not just pivotal inside information, but also the weapons crucial to the execution of the crime. As Gary and Stover held employees James Adams and Dave McGeha at gunpoint, Carson remained somewhat removed from the immediate scene, idling in a nearby car. His detachment, however, would prove insignificant as the crime escalated, as the victims were subjected to a forced search and robbery Gunshots echoed through the premises, narrowly missing them. In the pandemonium that ensued, Carson seemingly slipped away, invisible to the authorities initially called to the scene. But eventually, like his co-defendants who were arrested while attempting to flee, Carson too was apprehended. As the case progressed, the key question before the court was based on assessing Carson's level of responsibility for his co-defendants' actions during the robbery. His involvement was obviously key, but was he responsible for the aggravated assault and reckless endangerment that unfolded? Ultimately, the court determined that the law did not allow Carson the convenience of distance. Fueled by his active involvement in planning and executing the robbery, with the added gravity of providing the weapons and being present at the scene, the common law rule revealed its teeth. Carson was deemed responsible for his co-defendant's actions as they were foreseeable, natural, and probable consequences of the crime. Thus, the verdict rang clear. Carson was found guilty of aggravated robbery, assault, and reckless endangerment. For many, this was more than a verdict. It was a precedent. Through the Carson case, Tennessee's top court affirmed the rule of holding aiders and abettors accountable for harms that naturally and foreseeably flow from crimes they put in motion. The natural and probable consequence rule employed here reverberated across the land, influencing jurisprudence in various corners, including Washington, D.C., California, and Rhode Island. Carson's case left an enduring legacy. In crime, no act is an island. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.